keep him alive longer, and I don't think he's doing that. But let me ask you, I brought up Michael Jackson. I know you can't talk a lot about it, but I know you do uh, pray with him on a daily basis. He compared himself this week to uh, Jack Johnson, Muhammad Ali, and Nelson Mandela. Now, as a, as a civil rights leader who has really, really faced adver- uh, the battlements, I mean, you were there with Martin Luther King when he was shot. You marched. I mean, you faced the fire hoses. Uh, you gotta, you, this has got to bother you. Just the way Kobe Bryant was out of line when he compared himself and used a Martin Luther King quote. He said, uh, an injustice anywhere is an injustice everywhere. And, you know, Kobe, Martin Luther King said that when he was confronting racism in jail in Alabama. Kobe was confronting some knee cartilage uh, <laughs> and trying to get some affirmative action in Colorado. Uh, this must upset you when, when people take this when it's really not a racial issue. Well, Michael, Michael feels himself to be persecuted, but I think the context of his, the context of his statement was simply this. We all love Nelson Mandela tonight. For 27 years, we saw him as a terrorist. We've loved him since 1990. We all love Dr. King today. He was killed as one of America's most hated men. Uh, with the target on his back. We all love Jack Johnson now. He was locked at the ring because of his race. And so the point is whether you are uh, Jack Johnson or Paul Robeson or Martin King or Mandela, seemingly when blacks hit very high spots, they're in, in a line of fire. Michael perceives himself to be in that line, and that's the basis of his statement. Now, whether he's persecuted or not, we'll, in the end, we'll see. What I do know about the Michael case, I've prayed with him. I've known him since he was six years old is that when a sheriff goes into somebody's house with 70 armed guards, as if they're facing armed resistance, and then ransack their house and destroy their paintings, their art, their furniture, and then take those items and give them to the press, have a press come outside their house and say, oh, who may be with us, come, come and, 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 and let's testify. That's unusual. Michael, like others, deserved dignity and due process. I think at that level he was denied it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Reverend Jackson, I, I, I know this was uh, hard for you back there in Chicago. To, after all your difficult week and your time down there, I really appreciate you taking time out for us as always. Thank you. Reverend Jesse Thank Jackson, you, everybody. Um, yeah, what do you think about that? I mean, I, 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 it, it seems that, like these cases you know are not no, really no, great. Brother, you have to understand. <laughs> you, you have to understand. It's a, it's a, di- it is a different world. It is a different world. It's not just the world of celebrity, but also for Michael, a lot of what's happening to him is because he's, he's vastly different than everybody else. He but, is, but is it but, because he's black? In part, <clears throat> yes. Really? If this I, was country this, singer Alan you know Jackson what? sleeping wait, 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 with okay. you young know boys... You know what? Do, I know in my heart that I don't want to say that race is a factor in our lives, but it actually is. Oh, uh, and oftentimes... It is easier, and I don't mean this in any disrespectful way, it is oftentimes easier for white people to go, now, come on, Mm. because they Mm. don't know. Because it's little I tiny agree with stuff. That. It's little but to not so, him. So, why not him? No, but Everybody but him. I, I, I think the problem. No, the problem, the problem, problem is this, though. He one, married that, Elvis' but, daughter, but, child. People but, threw but, themselves but, out the window. But, but sister, <laughs> sister, would be that Robin's Island is a different place to Neverland. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that race can matter, but you've got to couch your language in such a way that somehow you don't confuse the gravitas of one situation vis-a-vis another. So if race might still be a factor among a whole host of other factors, oh. but you invoke Nelson Mandela, yeah. 27 yeah, years in but, but you know right. what? what are you talking about? You see what but I, I mean? But I, but that's I think, the problem. The Whoopi point is still there, but she is going to have to you know is, But you know what it is? Yeah. Whenever people want to make a huge point, they use the most obvious they person. To. They have to. Because if he <clears> said, listen, I'm, I'm, you know, as good as, you know, I don't know who to say because I know y'all won't know who the fuck I'm talking about. But, <laughs> you know, is it, yeah. is it wrong for him to compare? I don't think he was saying, I'm this person, I'm this person. I think well, what he was saying But he's played is, that race card before. He did yeah, it. You know, the race card yeah. is played he, every day. But, but, but you notice on the subject of racism, these two, they just don't want the white man to have his say here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> He's not letting me open my mouth here. 
<laughs> We're trying to save you. 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 Hey, hey, let me. He's going to speak right now. Let that speak. No, I just wanted to say that I think that if you are a guy who has a reputation for living an alternative mm. lifestyle, <laughs> and, and, and you are known far and wide for that reason, and, you know, this is, a, this is an individual thing, and, and, and this is a very unique situation, and, and mm. you're at your home, and you are inconceivably wealthy, and someone comes into your home, and you give them the booze, and you're watching the internet porn, and you're doing this, then that guy runs out the door, and he sues you for trying to do this something. You got every you got everything coming to you that you deserve because you're an idiot that you will put yourself in that position. Well, here's my question. He's a dumbass that he put himself in that position. Ninety-three. The first year he was talked about. You should have known people were going to go after right? his money. Ninety-three was the first time. Soaking him. Why would now see if somebody touched my kid or I thought somebody touched my kid, I would break every bone in their body. Do it, do it with me. Do it with me. I would, I would toss them. I would beat the hell out of them. <laughs> There's not enough money you could pay me your gun to make it okay. <laughs> so how come these parents yeah. allow this, to allow this, just getting away from Michael well, for a second, because to me, you couldn't do that to my kid. You could not, you could not pay me enough yeah. money. You could, I would not bring my child to you yeah. because if I think you're uh, going to touch yeah, but, but him, no, I'm going to kill like, you. I just feel like, I, I feel like, I, I, I feel like when I'm you, sorry. When, when somebody I, 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 agree, to the I, agree, I agree with you that it's both, but what I really think is that, is that for a guy that had all that power at his disposal, Neverland had everything but a good screening policy. Yeah. <laughs> The wrong people got in there, you know what I mean? All, all Michael's well, got to say is, I want to make sure I have a fair trial. Yeah. Period. I think he's getting a one. fair trial. You know, okay. And, and, and oh, yeah, step right. by step okay. it proceeds. What, you don't think he's getting a fair I, trial? I he's got a Has he ever been in? What happened? Has he ever been to court yet? Every time I look, he's slightly in the bed. He's no, in he's, the bed. he's been to court. All right. <laughs> I, the, 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 other, <laughs> the other kid touching story in the news this week, the Boy Scout leader, this guy Doug Smith, he's a former top Boy Scout official, was holed up on child porn charges. We have a picture of him. I think you uh, probably were there. He is. Yeah. Um, no. I, <laughs> 